such a damsel in distress. They were all dead. Love kills. Did I love her? Was there a choice? The past is a gaping hole. You try to run from it. The more you run, the deeper, more terrible it grows behind you. Its edges yawning at your heels. Your only chance is to turn around and face it. We are at the sea. Repeat, we are at the sea. But it's like looking down into the grave of your love. Check the area. Hold your fire. Or kissing the mouth of a gun, a bullet trembling in its dark nest, ready to blow your head off. We're losing him. Multiple gunshot wounds, pupils blown, head trauma, God only knows what else. He's in shock. Start two large four IVs, get him to ICU. He's Stay. not responding. This guy is a train wreck. We're losing him. When I woke up in the hospital earlier tonight, I thought it couldn't get any worse. I opened my eyes, and everything slid into focus. She was dead. I was hurt. My crime, what I had done, was like a hungry pit behind me. I had to run, get as far away from it as possible. The world was out of joint. I was hallucinating. I had to get away. Max, the route's clear. Allow me to present Max Payne. Come on, officer. We're here. Max, dear, my friend. Hey, we need to get out of there. You're in the we need to leave now. Sorry, I left you. Run! Run! Max, what's going on? Max, about what happened. I would fuck her. Max Payne! Drop your weapon! NYPD, freeze! What were you thinking? Back off, Payne. Max? Max, answer me, Max! Hello? Anyone there? spot in my head. A bullet-shaped hole where the answer should be. Call it denial. I wanted to dig inside my skull and scrape out the pain. Is this the pain residence? Dr. Magdalena from ER. You can give away the bed you were holding for me. That detective we were waiting for was DOA. She's headed for the morgue. I'll deal with pain. He's as good as dead. Freeze, NYPD! Found him!
They said I was an escaped mental patient. Diagnosis? Paranoid schizophrenic. You are insane. Psychotic. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. What happened out there? You did it. Eternal Affairs is breathing down my neck. Did you do it? You killed her. No, I can't. Go! Oh! circles until you fall back down to the same hole you were trying to escape from only the holes grown deeper Tried to run from it, edited it out. Winterson was dead. I was a murderer. A false start. The hospital bed wasn't the beginning. It was past the point of no return. The fatal choice already made, and it would get worse before the end. The past is a puzzle, like a broken mirror. As you piece it together and you cut yourself, your image keeps shifting, and you change with it. It could destroy you, drive you mad. It could set you free. You, inside, drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. You'll see the choices you didn't know you'd made, like staying at work late to chat with a friend, instead of hurrying home to your family. Fan out, people! Circle around! Cover all the exits! Kissing her, I think of the cold laws of cause and effect. Bear those extra units! Call the central! We need every available unit here now! I am afraid, but I start again from the beginning. Trace my own steps to the scene of the crime. I had wanted to be punished for what I had done, but Alfred Woden had kept his word. With his influence, ridiculously, I had emerged from my history of violence unscathed, a hero. I didn't thank him. I couldn't stomach it. I left the DEA. I went back to where I had started out, back to the job, the NYPD. Reported shots fired in the warehouse there, acknowledge. It's mine. I'm on it. 10-4. It wasn't a call for a homicide detective, but I knew the address. The warehouse belonged to Vladimir Lem. He was connected to organized crime. We went back a while, like brothers caught on opposite sides in a civil war. His words. I 
need backup. Unknown number of armed perps inside. Possible hostage situation. 10-4, backup is on its way. I'm going in. With no way to deal with the past, I kept my eyes on the road, off the rearview mirror and the road kill behind me. I chased lesser mysteries, other people's crimes. NYPD. Whoa, easy officer, easy. Just cleaning the place. Come on, officer, it's all legit. I work for the squeaky cleaning company. You didn't hear anything suspicious just now? No, no. Oh, wait. <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? Take me there. Move. Sure, officer. If that's what you want. You know, officer, you cops got it easy. All you have to do is go to the crime scene and look around a bit. We're the ones who have to clean up that mess, brains, and guts and shit. Detective. DT, huh? You know what I mean. <laughs> you get the credit, what do we get? Right. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. Detective. Oh, Detective, I've got something for you. Guess maybe you should have frisked me, you dumb. Damn! Shoot! Die! Ah! The perps were masquerading as cleaners. Pisses me off more than anything when they do that. It's an insult. That's what it is. We're trying to clean. Hey!
waiting in the van. The hardware's been bagged. There! Die! Die! The room looked like a gun storage, but it had been cleaned out. The answering machine had a message on it. Enough chit chat. Finish her. Wait! The mob guys attacked us! I have no beef with you guys! You took them out! Listen, I work for Vladimir! Honey, you work for no one. <laughs> what do you want? We we can NYPD, drop them! Finish her! Oh god, no! Like all the bad things in my life. It started with the death of a woman. I couldn't save her. After it, die! Die! Ah! How long can it take? They're not supposed to cuddle with her afterwards. We need to wrap this up. Kaufman wants us to move. Come on! Finally! Hey! Hey! Mona? Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. Mona! If you think nothing can get to you, you're lying to yourself. At best, you're temporarily dead. A lightning bolt can reanimate you without a warning. My backup had arrived, but the cleaners were slipping away, making a run for it. Coming in. 
all right. I'm okay, damn it. Hey, we're working together on... You got sloppy pain. You screwed up. It's unacceptable that she's dead. You can do better. I played it as business as usual. But everything had changed the moment those elevator doors opened to reveal Mona. Annie Finn was a licensed gunsmith, licensed dealer in firearms. Right. The property owned by Vladimir Lem. Three groups. One, DOAs who had connections to Russian OC. Identified as Finn's employees. Two, the Mafia. And three, the clowns wearing the cleaning company jumpsuits. They mentioned a name, Kaufman. This one's evil. It has only started. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. It's yours, Payne. It makes no sense. For you, Winterson, homicide. Sebastian Gate. It's gonna be all over the news. The Senator? Winterson was the ideal. What the job was all about. Someone to look up to. Bravora knew it too. We got lucky. There's an eyewitness. She hovered over my shoulder, whispering warnings. I didn't want to listen. Mona was the suspect in Winterson's case. I didn't tell them I had seen her. I wanted to stall. Maybe it was because she was alive when everyone else kept dying on me. Survivor's guilt washed away. Detective Winterson's phone. Give me that. Your boyfriend. The computer search on the squeaky cleaning company and Kaufman had come up empty. I needed to talk to Vlad, get his version, be the bearer of bad news on Annie Finn. Vlad had bought the old Ragnarok nightclub. He was renovating it into a trendy restaurant, vodka. Mona's appearance had triggered a dislocation, schizophrenia. I felt elation, but with it, fear that all the past evils had come along for the ride. Max, 911. Bad guys with big guns. They've got me pinned down at the entrance hall. Could use some help. Could use it now. I had to find another way to reach Vlad. No time to call backup. My case had a life of its own. I got in through the back door. Memories of my previous visit here lurked in the shadows. A musty smell under the coat of new paint. Gentlemen, allow me to present Help, stop it. Max Payne, get him. New York's finest, oh. with the biggest lobster body count ever. Dearest guests, prepare to die. Max, I'd love to come and welcome you, but I'm busy dodging bullets and hiding under a desk at the moment. Someone was talking on the other line. So. Max! I'm Mike, Vladimir's friend. You are the sheriff. Uh, how about making me your deputy? Let's go bail out your boss before he talks us all to death. Let's ride!
They asked for it. Just follow the trail. The adventure. Jesus Christ, the Christ, the apocalypse now. Got some heavy shit here. Note it down. Just take everything. Leave. <laughs> oh. Winterson would have found a way to do this nice, neat, and clean. Logic told me backup should be on its way. Someone must have heard the gunfire. Logic was such a liar. Shit! T, the whole set for a tooth. The only way to do it. They chip one of ours, we go dental on him. <laughs> Hey, what can you do? Vinny's the boss. Shoot! wouldn't be able to hold on much longer if it wasn't too late already.
Russian! Fucking die already! You're not even trying! Hang on, Vlad. Max! I'm coming. I'm not paying. Not him. Fuck, fuck, fuck! What are you waiting for? Circle around and kill him! Kill the cop! The way your hands are shaking, you couldn't hit a truck! Mastermind? He is wiping out everyone he sees as competition on the black market gun trade. The Mafia underboss has made a deal with someone powerful. <laughs> what was it you did for a living again? Scout's honor, detective. I have mended my ways, evolved to a higher level. Vodka will be the best restaurant in the city. I'll be rich and famous. Annie was a princess. They killed her for no reason. You hurt your hand just now? <laughs> A hot date yesterday. Can I tempt you? Let's pretend I'm on duty. Sweet home. Something in the night felt like a door had been opened. An echo of the past. An old monster snapping its eyes open in the depths of my brain. Closing your eyes forces you to look at the darkness inside. And now, a dress unknown. I hadn't slept in a long time. When I did, my dreams were nightmares. I was trapped in a nightmare. My evil double had taken my girlfriend. In a nightmare, every choice you make is a wrong one. Following him, I had somehow slipped into a twisted alternate reality. Noir York City. I would wake up at night, afraid that day was a dream I'd forget. My double was John Mira. He was the devil incarnate, a fallen angel. The flesh of fallen angels. He was a serial killer. He had framed me for his murders. I was hiding in a cheap motel. One night, I woke to a knock at my door. Someone slipped a note under the door. It was a clue. Desperate to catch him, to find my girlfriend, to save her.
दावा किया We need to hit the place now. Pain's in there. They know that you know. You must run. Max Payne! Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head! This is your final warning! Run, Payne, run! We are gonna shoot! Bring it down. Shoot that kill. <laughs> You don't need a lawyer. Just tell us what you did. Pain, you're done. Everything you say will be used against you. What are you hiding? She's alive, isn't she? People get near you, they die. You killed your family. You killed them all. Confess. Do I get my phone call? You already got it. Don't push your luck. Sit down. We're just getting started. Hey, sit Put down it. now. Put it down now. Drop your weapon. is a blur. What was clear in a dream suddenly makes no sense. No surreal rescues, no easy magic way out. <laughs> 